I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations, its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone or something was literally erasing Cooper history. Then to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, 
about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Okay, you both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Let's go! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Uh, so, uh, everything's got a little bit of a graphics upgrade since the last time we played. Um, and by the last time I played, I mean like a few Whoa. days ago. Careful, Sly! Those security choppers are bad news! Oh, look at how shiny these coins are. I suppose I don't have to mention you can jump using the X button. Uh, no, I, I'm pretty pretty familiar with jumping. It's been a common thing in all of these platformers so far. Why? Don't forget you can double jump. Just jump, then press the X button again while you're still in the air. Right. Just another one of my many talents. Whoa, it feels so... He feels different. He feels strange. Uh, so anyway, I know that this game apparently ends on a big cliffhanger at some point. So uh, that's going to be exciting uh, later on. But um, we, we won't worry about that right now. We're just going to worry about playing the game, having a good time, and uh, enjoying the story as as it comes. Hopefully the cliffhanger is not too bad at the end. But uh, if it is, then uh, I might have some fun with it. Who knows? We don't, we don't know what's going to happen yet. Anyway, yeah, um, new coins, new animations, new everything. So this game came out eight years after the previous one that we just watched or played. If you find the need to adjust your perspective on things, you can move the camera. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Press the circle button while jumping to interact with blue sparkling objects. I remember. That's how I pull off some of my best moves. Oh, look at how s the sparkles even change. Wow. Yeah, eight years makes a big difference in uh, video games. Let me tell you. Uh, the other ones also came out on the PS2. This one, Boy, I believe, is on the PS3. Fly. If they see you now, we're busted. I think I can handle that. Uh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, I think. I like how obvious it is where they are looking, but I think we're okay to go here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. Hey, Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? Of course not. Murray's approach route is through the back alleys. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. <laughs> anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay on these cables, Sly. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. Looks like the perfect night for a heist. I'm just trying to talk, and I just can't, I have to keep cutting myself off. <laughs> oh, look at the mini map, like the little radar thing. It shows you where the bad dudes are, and oh, this is cool. Uh, I like his little arrow that shows up every once in a while to tell us where to go. It's very helpful. Whoa. Press the select button to display the map. Okay, and it's showing off where all the bad dudes are. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be cool. I can't actually really move around properly, but it's it's very nifty. What's the status? What's that? 
So uh, bottles are back in this game, it looks like, right? Uh, and there's treasure chests and vaults, it looks like, as well. Cool. <laughs> Gonna maybe be slightly overwhelming for some stuff, but also we should recognize a lot of the things from the other games, so we should be okay, right? I mean, I'm really liking how shiny the coins are. I don't know if they're gonna change the design on the coins each time, like for each level, but wow. Security is getting tougher, Sly. Steer clear of the guards and lights. Avoid sprinting around the guards, too. They'll hear your footsteps. I'll be a ghost, I promise. Okay, right, we can sure sprint. Sure feels good to be back in business. Uh, is R1 still the sprint? Looks like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, we're still figuring things out again, even though it's... I think it's just the graphics. They're kind of like... I don't know. A big, a big very big difference from from uh, before. Like the, the poly polygon sort of look to, like, giving them shadows and fur and everything like that. Very big difference. So slightly off-putting, but we're okay. We're doing all right, I think. I hope. This is only the tutorial level, so if I manage to die, it's been a while since we managed to kill ourselves in the tutorial. Looks like security is really beefed up tonight. Okay, that was too close. So we're still just trying to break into the museum. I don't really know where we're supposed to be going. I'm just going off the level design and being like, okay, gotta collect all the coins whenever we see them. Because we know they're going to be important for something. Uh, maybe thief net? Maybe? Maybe we'll buy upgrades? Maybe? Maybe skins? I don't know. 2013, though, is when this came out. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Fly, that flagpole looks like it leads right to the roof. See? I told you it would be a piece of cake. Oh, what? I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. I can't believe the security at this place. This better be worth it. A little zip lining action. Oh, we can pickpocket. Okay, that's still the same. Oh, it's still got the little blap. Oh, I like that little animation of him uh, falling off the side too. That was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zip lining stuff. Yeah, we can zip line in this game. Pretty cool. Nice use of the hook. Uh, I was trying to say before that we have a lot more control over the audio. So the, my dreams of having audio control again is very helpful. But uh, it also means that probably we're going to be testing things for a few episodes. And I don't know if we're ever going to get it right. But uh, at least everything's not super loud. I, they're kind of muffled, so I, I might not bother boosting their audio, but they sound, uh, they look, they look very creepy, um, these rats, for sure. Can we, can we climb up here? Easy does it. Press L3 to display the compass direction for the current directive. Oh, that's what that is. So it's not just gonna have the thing pop up on the screen. Look at how nice the sky looks. Look at the moon. Wow, it all looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Let's just keep breaking everything. This is exactly what I do whenever I play these games for the first time. Uh, eventually I will get over like breaking all the boxes for stuff, but this is right now a lot like uh, the Ratchet and Clank stuff where there's, if there's a box, I gotta break it, get all the bolts and all the money that we can get, right? Uh, <laughs> for the future, ooh, what's that? Is that a save symbol? Saving? You found a mask. Collect secret sly masks throughout the games or earn special unlockable items. Would you like to go to the unlockables menu? Yes, I would. Yes. Oh my goodness. There's secrets. There's secrets in this game. 
So they're, these are like the orbs from uh, Jack and Daxter. Ah, I see. So monkey paraglider, a paraglider with the image of a wise monkey for clever thieves only. Uh, okay. And then the camo one, that's probably just like a change thing. What's ultimate Murray? Murray's always been special, but in this gear, he has the special ops. Ooh, that, look, that would look pretty cool. So we can change like the skins of them, I guess? Uh, okay, cool. And there's 60 in total. Uh, I'm assuming these last two are like invulnerability or something insane like that. But this this should be fun. I'm going to keep my eye out for all these little secrets. I like that. I like a new change to some things. Ooh, and cinematics. Okay, whatever these are. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're just in the menu now. I don't know what cross save is, but I saw it before I started the game too. And uh, it looked good. Okay, let's let's uh, let's try and like maybe finish the tutorial in this episode. That would that would probably be good. But I want to get all the things. <laughs> I want all the coins. I mean, this is probably like no nothing in comparison to what we're going to be getting later on coin wise. Oh jeez. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. It might be important. We're, we'll find out eventually if I've been doing this all for nothing or something. Uh, it wants us to go this way. Oh, so I was going the wrong way. It sure looks like Ugh. somebody spent a fortune on this place. It looks beautiful, though. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Oh, we're not even, like, inside the place yet? How, how long has this episode been going? Like, 15 minutes, and I'm just, like, hanging outside doing my own thing? Okay, okay, well, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go inside. Let's get past the doors. Let's just stop breaking crates. It's okay. It's fine. But I know I don't want to. I can't help it. I want them all. Just go past this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's breakable. It's so glorious. Careful now. That's the skyline we want, but it's locked. My instruments are showing that guard has a key. Move slowly until you're right behind him. When you're close enough, press the circle button to pick his pocket. You might have to try... Oh, look at that animation. To perform a stealth slam, sneak up behind an enemy and press the trot. Great, Fly. Now use the key to unlock the skylight. We're just kind of cutting off Bentley because I already know how to play the game from before. We're just that good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Um, but I know we're, I'm just, like, kind of looking for secrets now because I know they're everywhere, but I don't know where the clue bottles are going to be. I don't know where these little masks are going to be. It's just so many things. Look at how nice this even looks. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Interesting. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. Wow. Man, this place is disgusting. Wow, look at the trails of its wheels in the dirt or the mud. My bomb should make short work of that grate. I just need to press the triangle button to place one. Well, that was a blast. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's the train from Ratchet and Clank. It's, it's so cool. It, he moves so much more fluidly than he did before. I like that. Like, he, he was pretty fluid before, but this feels a lot more fluid. Oh, that's some nice animation. Not me. Look how fast we can go. So why are these rats, like, I knew this was a thing for this game. We have the little dinky baby rats in here, but then, like, above the surface, we have giant talking rats. Okay. Wait, what's this, uh, what's this red dot mean? Does this mean there's a secret here that I'm missing? Oh, no, that's just the enemy. Okay, right, right, right. I wonder if they're going to show things up on the map. Maybe, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I really like the little robot arms, though, too. Oh. It looks so good. That's a big jump. I better use the hover pack here. If I jump, then press and hold the X button while I'm in the air. My jets will let me glide a long way. <laughs> I love the little rewind animation. That is fantastic. So press and X and then X to hold. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's not what I'm doing. I was just tapping it. That's so good. That's a nice little feature. 
Look at how good that looks. Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. Yeah, great, that platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. If I press and hold the L1 button, I can bring up my range finder. Then I can adjust the range of my throw. That's a direct hit. That's amazing. So we can yeah. just whip these things if I now. I fall in that filthy water. I'm buying a new shell. Oh, I keep. I, I I'm trying to do like what we did in the last game. This is the only time when muscle memory is not helping. I'm trying to do like this whole uh, the little thruster pack thing they had before, with boof 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 boof. And you can only press it once, and as long as I hold, I have to remember to hold down the button. Anyway, um, we're good. Ooh, health looks shiny too. Of course, everything's shiny. It's all so good. Okay, so oh, secret. Very important. <laughs> secret finding. We're taking our time, but we're gonna find all the secrets. Oh, I killed that rat. Whoops. My bad. Oh, it's over. We're gonna get our first death before we even made it into the actual game. Oh no, no, no. That was lag from the game. What was that? Um, this way. Why didn't I wear my rubber gloves? Are you not wearing gloves right now? Maybe they're not rubber. Okay, maybe they need rubber ones. And these are just like leather or something. That'd be a terrible, absolutely horrible thing. Coins, 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 coins everywhere. All the coins. The tutorial coins. Later on, there'll probably be coins that are worth like way more than just one, maybe. Mm, according to the schematics, the control room is right underneath me. Ha, all I have to do is, and voila, instant shortcut. Wait a minute. Does that mean we can go? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, can we? If we could break through these things, and I haven't been doing that, that that would have been bad. All right, down here. Jump into the hole. Phew! Talk about your close shaves! How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, um, great! Perfect! I'll be done in a jiffy! Uh -huh. Shut down the security system, press select to open a map. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know before you four. These are all really good level designs, but this is like, oh, it's bringing me back. It's kind of like old uh, Ratchet and Clank stuff almost, too. This is so good. Next time, I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Smart idea. Oh, oh my goodness, right. We gotta, wait, wait, wait. Can we just like whip this at them? Like, if I just, I screwed it up, I'm bad. That's gonna tell them exactly where I am, isn't it? No? Oh, they're they're deaf, blind, everything? Oh, look at that. Oh. Now for a patented Bentley hack attack. I love that. That's a, such a good addition to this. Uh, anything else in here? Any secrets? Any like Easter eggs on the walls, maybe? Impact could be disastrous. Okay, maybe not. Commencing. Hello, old friend. We have to reach the main docking gate before the security code flushes us from the system. The left stick should navigate the ship. Oh my goodness, it's a little turtle. That's so cool. Ah, it's an upgrade of our old thing that I love so much. This is great, I love it. Already, it's so the good. The right stick should control the bit cannon. The bit cannon can blast right through that firewall. Look at how nice bit that bit is performing well. Moving while firing is key to cracking this system. It's so good. I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat the firewall. Okay, okay. But, but can we just take a moment to just appreciate how amazing this is? All right, I can use this data key to disable that firewall. Wow. Just Dang wow. It, this reinforced firewall is too strong for the bit cannon. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer code. Oh yeah, time to bring out the big guns, baby. These gigabob shells will crush those firewalls. Something I noticed on the uh, the PS Now thing, uh, like where they had uh, this mini game, like this game kind of thing, but like as like a separate game. 
So that that's kind of cool to see that they did that. I I don't know how this is gonna be changed, but obviously there's like a lot of, a lot of different upgrades and stuff compared to what we're used to. I can either dodge them or blast them. Or both? Can we dodge and blast at the same time? I'm just gonna Looks grab the key. Like I can only grab the data key with my shell code. Wait, oh I gotta switch back. Dude, this is awesome. How's this gonna upgrade in the future? So right now we only have like we have these little bombs and we can change keys and change between these two or different things or whatnot. But like there's gonna be so many different ones. This, oh to do the trick. this is so good. <laughs> Even if this was the entire game, I would love it. Oh my goodness, it looks so cool! That's so satisfying. Holy moly. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray, you're up! The Murray is always on, Bentley! <laughs> Okay, Murray, we need to get you back in fighting shape. Why don't you warm up with a few basic attacks? Press the square button to punch. Oh, yeah. The old muscle memory is really kicking in. <laughs> Press and hold the triangle button to charge up, and then release it for a wicked spinning attack. Yes! Nobody can withstand the pink tornado! To perform a thunderflop, jump, then press the triangle button while in the air. Oh, thunderflop, how I've missed you. It's so good. Ah, Kool-Aid man Murray's back. He is back in action. Oh, this is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Uh, can we can we pick up any of these guys? Can we do anything crazy? Stomp. Ho ho ho. Shake. Yep, that's still the same as before. I'm getting bored here. He's getting bored? I okay, what? Feel sorry for you guys. What was that little like police lights thing on the top left? That was a little strange. I don't know what that was about. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love their Let new the looks. Down they look glorious. <laughs> Have I mentioned that like enough You'll this episode? Probably, but I can't. You can pick up all the regular things. Slam. Let's, that just throws it down. And then we can throw things. Ow! I guess that just the the little red and blue lights means we're, we've been noticed or something. Is that the best you've got? Money every. Oh, look at this run! Oh, that's a that's a hefty run right there. That's beautiful. <laughs> the animations. Oh, it's so good. It just makes me so happy for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, anyway. I think I should probably actually end this episode. I, I just glanced at the time. I'm, I'm having a good time playing, but uh, I think we'll continue playing as Murray in the next episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Is that the whole title or is it just Sly Thieves in Time? Something like that. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.